him. It's a okay. Oh, he's, you he's you named him. Insane. You didn't name him. Oh, he's like a guardian. That's so cool. But why why isn't he a pig? <laughs> that right there is the proper question. Oh, Detective Snout Snoot Snout must not be seen by Miss Craft. <laughs> Report to Arrow. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Thank you for the gift. I assume he's a gift. Not a gift. This is a scout. But th he's not very sneaky. I mean, he has vines, he I guess. He's the sneakiest guy around. I, he, he, you know. I assume he could, like, hide because of... He could, you know, camouflage because of the vines. Whoa! <laughs> Why did you make this out of sand? That would have been so much better. Oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> I have one heart. Okay. You almost murdered me. You could have easily murdered me. <laughs> Hello everybody, Melissa Craft here, and welcome back to another episode of Cube Community. Now, the first two clips of this video were just basically me talking to Arrow. He showed me a little... Uh, scout, a little gift that he had uh, given me. He gave it, went to everybody, which was really nice of him. But, uh, yeah, so I'd like to finish this building in this episode. This is basically a trading system. These are two right here are Mr. Crayfish's... Oh, I need to change this, actually. Mr. Crayfish's uh, trading system on his... YouTube channel, he has a training system. It's kind of old, but it still works and it's very useful. Basically, what I'm going to have is where if you throw in something into these hoppers, then it automatically uh, shoots out something else. So I'm going to, in one of them, I don't know what I'm going to do in the other, but in, in one of them, it's going to be two diamond ore for one or, I'm sorry, two diamonds for one diamond ore. So, they're going to basically throw in two diamonds and get one diamond ore shot out of it every time. And and it makes it to where they can't actually steal from me, which I know people don't steal on this server, but still, I think it'd be fun to have a trading system that way they can't actually, like, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, they're not going to steal, but it, it's still fun to have a trading system. If that makes sense. So anyways, I'm going to finish this building and I, oh, oh, by the way, this church isn't built, isn't done yet. We're working on the roof, but, uh, it's not completed. It looks really nice so far. Arrow helped me a lot. The, the, uh, tombstones look a little, the graveyard looks a little bit different and, yeah, I think this whole area here looks so beautiful, but I need to work on this and make it look a lot better. I want it to look similar to, like, you know, to look good with this because I think the church is coming along nicely. So, yeah, I will see you guys in just one moment uh, after I figure out what I want to do with this build. Okay, so I was thinking something like this might look nice, uh... Just as the entranceway, I don't know if I want to actually have a door here because it's kind of on an angle. It's kind of a weird angle, too. I had to make sure that it didn't uh, interrupt this archway here. So, let's see here. I was thinking I'm going to cut down that tree there. And just so we have a better view. <laughs> we don't have a view of wood. And I, I also extended this wall out one. But... I was also thinking about, let's see, we have a lot more stairs still. That's perfect. Just what I needed. Uh, should I make these stairs just so it kind of gives it a little bit of depth on the inside? I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not too sure how it's going to look, but let's see here. Dang it, I keep misplacing things today. I'm not, uh, I'm not a noob, I promise. It's just how I am today, constantly misplacing things in-game. So, 
let's do this all the way around. Okay, so I, I finished all of that all the way around it, and I don't know if I like how it looks, especially because the stone block kind of puts it off. I could always change it later. Um, what I'm thinking about having is a desk along this wall with other things for sale. I'm not too sure yet, because honestly, I don't even know what I want to sell besides the diamond ore deal thing. And honestly, that will only be happening whenever I have diamond ore for sale. Every time I have diamond ore actually available. Because obviously, diamond ore is very difficult to get. So, at least it's not that uh, easy to get. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm thinking about just making the roof start right here. Or maybe one above but I'm not too sure because this would get in the way unless I move this down. And then it would just, it would be too high, like two by one. And I don't know if I like that because that's kind of low. But, hmm, let's see here. I'd like to... Okay, you know what, first things first, I'm going to tear out the floor because... I mean, it's not the most important thing to do right now, but I'd like to make the floor look a little bit better, so we might as well do that now. See, that's all the redstone stuff. Wait, did it accidentally pick up anything? Okay, no, it didn't. Good. Uh, Hang on. Did it? Okay, no. I, I like to make sure that it doesn't pick up anything, because later on, if... uh. If there's something else in the hoppers or the chest, well, the chest doesn't matter, but if there's other things in the hoppers, then it messes it up. Like, because if the top hopper gets clogged, then it can't put anything else into the bottom hopper, which actually activates the redstone to th spit it out from the dispenser. I'm I'm not the best at redstone, so I don't know how to explain it well, but um, <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I mean. If you don't, then just go ahead and watch that video that I told you about, Mr. Crayfish. It's really easy, <laughs> kind of, to do, uh, to make this building, so, or to make this, uh, not the building, but, you know, the trading systems. So, let me think. How do you make chiseled stone brick again? Okay, it's two of these on top of each other. I I knew that. <laughs> I, I, I knew that that's how you made it. I was just messing with you guys, pretending I didn't know. Um, so yeah, let's do this. And I think that's going to look a lot better. But I think I want to use andesite for most of the flooring. Uh, I know we have plenty of andesite. It's actually already in my inventory. Polished andesite, that is, not just normal andesite. Normal andesite looks good with, like, cobblestone and other things, but not exactly good with other things, if that makes any sense at all. I'm trying to think of how to do this where there's kind of a design. Is that okay looking? Uh, I actually don't know. Hang on, let's... Okay, so like this and this. Or no, just like this. So... Is that right? No? Uh, I'm confusing myself, I think. So that... Might be the way to do it. I just don't know where it has to end here. Because of this being so... Such an awkward angle. Uh, let's see. It, so it connects like that. Wait, this all has to be cobblestone. This is confusing me a little bit. Um, I'm thinking 
You know what? Why not? I'm just going to I'm just going to do this like this. Around it is going to be stone slabs. I know I only have to use one. But I just, I want to use two because I have plenty of stone in that chest. Arrow gave me a lot of stone earlier, so I appreciate it a lot. I needed it. Uh, I could have went back and got more stone, but I didn't have any smelted, so that would have taken a long time to get it smelted to do it. Um, I like, I like the stone. I like how it looks. But, that's, okay, I'm going to have to make more, which is perfectly fine. I have plenty now. And, let's continue to make this part. I think it looks, whoops. I think it looks okay. Maybe, I'm thinking about, like, uh stone bricks in the middle what if I used carpet or what if I use these would that look weird having more in the middle I, I'm not too sure And then andesite again in the middle, I I guess. I just, I really like andesite. I want to start using it more in my builds. Um, let's put this in there. Okay. That's kind of a weird shape, but I like it. Um, all that matters is that I like it, right? <laughs> I'm thinking it, it's... The middle is not really going to matter, or at least this side isn't going to matter, because I'm going to have a table here somehow. I mean, I could always have the table be like this. Or some, or something. I'm not going to do it yet, but uh, I think that will work. Actually, why not try and do it now? Because it'll give me... Uh, an idea, at least, if even if I don't do it this way. Let's see, like that? Is that too small? Too big? What if I did it like this? Um... I just feel like there needs... Yeah, that looks really weird. That's a weird shape. Uh, I'm going to work on that next episode or off camera because I'm not too sure how to do it. I need to clear some of these leaves and make a roof. Hopefully it won't be too big of a roof because I don't want to have to clear too many of the leaves. But I do need to get rid of that tree, the one that's right here. Yeah, it's right here. I'm going to, uh, excuse me, I'm going to get rid of that tree off camera. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't build much this episode, but hopefully I'll be able to build more next time. I'm just kind of running out of time, and I don't, like, I'm running out of things to build because, I mean, the roof is going to take forever to build on this church, and this, I honestly have no idea what to do yet for this roof, so I'd rather do that prepared than non not prepared. And, um... Yeah, I really don't know what to do for this floor, but I'll, I'll, I'll look into it, probably off camera. So anyways, I will see you guys next episode. Bye!